Hey guys, Matthew here. I'm gonna do a quick review of the Nokia Lumia 520 on AT&T. Uh, as I told you in my unboxing video, I bought this as a backup phone because my Lumia 520 was getting the screen replaced. So I used this about two weeks and um, I decided to keep it as a backup phone. I could have returned it and got my money back, but I was like, I, I just decided to keep this as a backup phone because it's a really good phone if you're if you need it as a backup or you're just looking for a non-expensive smartphone and you're interested in Windows phone so <clears throat> starting off with the build and the design it's your typical um, touchscreen phone um, it's not too big it has a 4 inch WVGA screen um, on top you have the earpiece your Nokia logo all your sensors um, there's your screen it's capacitive of course glass it's not gorilla glass um, there is some scratches on it it's hard to see right there uh, and then you got your back home and your search buttons these are non backlit um, <clears throat> on this side you have nothing it's absolutely bare but that's typical of Nokia on the bottom you have your micro USB charge port then on this side you have all your physical buttons you got your two-stage camera key your um, power unlock button and your volume rocker on top you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack <clears throat> on the back you have your uh, basic 5 megapixel camera pixel camera sorry your Nokia branding and then you have your AT&T branding and your speaker to so note the AT&T branding is raised so it does scratch off easy just, just FYI um, the back is a suck soft touch coating so it is um grippable it's rubbery um it does it scratches but it easily comes off so it's a pretty good um scratch resistant on the back taking off the back is pretty easy you just take it off on the top there's your back cover <clears throat> you get ac gain access to your 1430 milliamp hour battery your micro sd card slot and your micro sim card slot and then there's your speaker and all your information under that just step on so turning it on you're greeted to you know, your lock screen or kids corner if you want and then you're greeted to your um, Windows Phone 8 lock screen and this does ship with the GDR2 update for the Nokia Lumia 520 so if you go down to uh, let's see extras plus info so it, it does have a um, 5 mega 512 megabytes of RAM so it is a little bit slower it's only a dual core 1 gigahertz processor um, so you have your Lumia Amber so it is updated to the latest and um, it's weird because <clears throat> on Nokia's like website they're saying that like the 520 the 620 the 720 the 521 aren't gonna get the double tap to awake but luckily this one has it so it's pretty good I guess well it is pretty good it's convenient just in case if uh, your lock button messes up or something or you just want another way to unlock it in a quick way just do it like that so it is the latest um, for Windows Phone so it, it for a 512 megabyte um, device, it's pretty fast. There's hardly any lag. There's no lag at um, at all. Um, I mean, for a $99 phone, you're getting a really good phone here. Um, and yes, you can play Halo Spartan Assaults because of that new update. Um, it does have eight gigabytes internal memory, so like for apps and games, you have to watch how much you download, but with that SD card you can just put all your music and your pictures and your videos on it and it'll free up some space there so um, so for a $99 phone I would suggest getting this phone it's a really good phone it's cheap non expensive it's a it's not a high quality phone but it's a good quality phone you're not gonna be disappointed in being oh it's cheap it's falling apart breaking already <clears throat> I mean if you're on a budget and you're looking for a smartphone on AT&T you can get one or you can even get like unlocked the unlocked versions are not that cheap I mean they're not that expensive sorry so yeah um, 
I guess anything else. Uh, it is only it's only 4G, it's not 4G LTE, but that's all right. Um, so yeah. Um, in terms of anything else, that's all I have to say about the 521 or 520. Sorry. So yeah, uh, that was just my quick review of the Nokia Lumia 520 on AT&T. Have a great day.